Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here is a problem for April 27, 2018, for exam P on probability. You are given the following information about N, the annual number of claims for a randomly selected insured. Probability that N is 0 is 1 half. Probability that N is 1 is 1 third. Probability that N is more than 1 is 1 sixth. Let S denote the total annual claim amount for an insured. When N is 1, S is exponentially distributed with mean 5. When n is more than 1, S is exponentially distributed with mean 8. Determine the probability that S is between 4 and 8. So let's note this, that if x is, um, has exponential distribution with mean mu, then the probability that x is between a and b is the difference between the cumulative distribution function at b minus the uh, cumulative distribution function at a, which is the same as the survival function at a minus the survival function at b, and that's e to the minus a over mu minus e to the minus b over mu. We use the law of total probability and the information on the distribution of s when n is equal to 1 and n greater than 1. Uh, when n is equal to 0, s is 0, in this case, can be disregarded. And we obtain this. The probability that s is between 4 and 8 is the probability that s is between 4 and 8, given that n is 1, times the probability that n is 1, plus the probability that s is between 4 and 8, given that n is more than 1, times the probability that n is more than 1. And based on that information about the exponential distribution that we have, um, that probability that s is between 4 and 8, given that uh, n is 1, is e to the minus 4 over 5 minus e to the minus 8 over 5. And that's multiplied by the probability that n is 1, which is 1 third, plus the uh, probability that um, s is between 4 and 8, given that n is more than 1, which is e to the minus 4 over 8 minus e to the minus 8 over 8. And this whole difference is multiplied by 1 6, which is the probability that n is more than 1. And now we just calculate this, and this is approximately 0.12 which is answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.